and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. My name is Sarah and today we are building in the world of Windenburg which is the world that came with the get together expansion pack. So today we are doing a limited pack build. It is it uses base game, get together, and island living items. Um, and to be honest it wasn't supposed to use island living items but I forgot that I used a couple different ones and so it does use it does use that pack also, but it's still a two pack build and so originally I think this lot was a pool, um, but we are going to turn it into a gym today and for the majority of building this because I spent more time on this build, I spent more time on the outside than the inside. So for the majority of the build, it was intended to be a residential build. It was intended just to be a house. Um, but you'll see kind of as we get into it why I kind of changed my mind and we'll talk about it a little bit later. But that comes a lot later because like I said, for the majority of the time I was building a house. <laughs> so um, right now we're just we're just laying these roofs down kind of like to make it look like it's they're kind of holding um, the building up. So, so far while I was talking, we have built um, four floors and since that's the maximum amount of floors above ground that you can build in The Sims, I did have to use a foundation because I wanted to lift the house up off the ground. So for the foundation, I used the clear foundation, which is, I think it, I'm not sure which cheat it comes with because I always enter both, but it comes with one of the hidden objects cheats. So I used that clear foundation and I don't know if you guys noticed because it was pretty quick part of the video. Um, I got it covered up pretty quick and I actually don't even think I showed it because I was trying to figure out exactly how to get it covered up and this was such a big build for me that I, I cut a lot out because I didn't want it to be too long. But um, so on my game, I don't know if it's this, the way I have my settings or what's going on, but basically when I use that clear foundation, there is like a, um, on the ground, there's just like this big blue, you know, area and it, it's not very nice. So I knew I had to cover it up and we covered it up using Ottomans. Um, and I'm not sure, I cannot remember if that Ottoman is base game or get together, but basically I just sized them up to where they were about as big as the bottom of the house and then I placed them, um, kind of layered them on the ground and I actually think I used the tool mod to push them into the ground because I don't think, I think everything was wanting to snap to that first floor. But basically we just um, used the ottomans to cover up that gap and I think something I, something I did I think made my other roofs, my roofs that were on the bottom, they got deleted. So that happened a couple times throughout the build and I cut all that out because I didn't want you guys to have to watch me do the same thing over and over again because it took me a couple times to realize that something was deleting it. But we will add those back in later. You'll see them pop up just at some random point. They will pop back into the game. But right now we're just building basically the start of our um, roofing. If you did notice the thumbnail, you know this has got a lot of roofs. They're all kind of like, kind of made to look kind of like dominoes, like they're falling down. And the picture that inspired this was basically, I feel like the picture that inspired it, I feel like shape wise, I got pretty close to it for The Sims, but as far as like the, um, the walls and stuff is not like the picture that inspired it wasn't clear it was like very reflective and bright and um, it, it looked a lot better but I was pretty happy with the way that this turned out but we are now layering the roofs that's what we're doing now so this was one of the first things I did and actually this is why <laughs> this is why I decided to make it a community lot because as you can see, I'm placing these roofs on the first floor and I am not sure what happened because um, I don't think typically you can place a roof within an enclosed room, which I had completely forgotten about. Um, and But it was letting me do it, so I was completely fine with it. And anyway, because I guess for whatever reason that I was able to place it on that first floor, it also didn't... Um, 
it didn't count as a room, if that makes sense. So that whole bottom floor isn't usable. I ended up just using like black, really dark wallpaper and flooring and uh, just kind of tried to pretend that wasn't there because you you can't use it at all because of the roofs. But I didn't realize that until I was ready to work on the interior and I had done spent a good little while um, working on the this part of it. So I didn't want to go back and change at that point. I didn't want to go back and try to shovel the roofing around again and everything. So um, I think I still have a lot of learning left to do with roofing, but I am starting to enjoy working with it a little bit more than I did when I first started out building. But we are just finishing the roofing up and what we did because um, because of the slope, you can't get a really straight slope um, with the roofing either. So I ended up using windows here in just a little while. I'll pull out some windows and just stack them up using the move objects sheet to kind of give that first layer like a straight look. Yes, and that is what we're doing now. And so we're just stacking four of those up just to make it taller than the other roofs. So we're just popping those up now. And like I said, I turned this into a gym, but I have never built a gym before. I didn't really realize that until I was kind of washing this stuff back. But um, I wasn't 100% happy with the inside because it looks really bare compared to the outside. There's not a lot to it. Um, but it you'll see it. I mean, it does work as a gym. It completes all the requirements and everything like that. So. Um, I think it's quite nice to have in your game because most of the time when you're at the gym your sims are just working out anyway so it's not a big deal but right now we're just adding we're just using this debug fence to add um, um, fencing I guess is the right word because this was one of those moments when I originally laid down fencing rather than using this object um, that I realized later that my flooring, my my roofs, which were on the floor, um, had gotten deleted again. And so um, I decided to just go back and just use this object rather than trying to use fencing. The fencing looked a little bit cleaner. This has got like a little bit more of a bolder look. Um, but that's okay. It worked out. It didn't bother my fencing and that's what was important at that point. So we're just adding on these rooftops, we're just adding in some greenery, and I wasn't really going for a eco look or anything like that. I don't have the eco living pack, um, but it just kind of seemed to make sense because I was using roofs so much in other parts of the build that I didn't want to just try to figure out something else to put on that. So it just seemed like a nice place to put some greenery and some flowers and stuff like that. So we're just adding in some plants on these roofs and I think I cut a little bit of that out. Yeah, you can see I went on and completed the other ones, um, but I didn't want, like I said, it was really repetitive. I didn't want uh, to leave all that in. So now we're just doing the, um, we're finishing up like the exterior of the building. And so basically the original picture, I think I said, I'm not sure, but it was very like reflective and it had like a lot of, you know, character and a lot of different like sizes going on. And, and originally I wanted to try to use mirrors, um, but it just, I, I felt like it was just going to be way too complicated. So what we ended up using, I tried a couple different things, but we ended up using um, these lots, which are a, they are uh, from the get together pack. And I believe they are fountain lots. I think that's where they are. They're like with the with the fountain objects. But um, I just used those like various different sizes to kind of go across the build. Um, this probably a good thing that this didn't turn out residential because I think the power consumption would be quite high. But um, yeah, I just used lots to kind of cover up the exterior to kind of give it a little bit like that the roofs make it seem so busy that it looked really plain with nothing else going so I hope you guys like that I did enjoy the way it turned out I didn't think I was going to I was really disappointed for a little while I thought it was gonna be horrible I had spent so much time on the outside of this build and then I thought I didn't know what to do 
to kind of finish it off but I do I am happy with the way it looks and I hope you guys enjoy it also so now we're just adding in a pool and we're just doing the landscaping basically so um, there's not just a hundred there's not just a lot to it um, it's really plain um, we're using a lot of debug items just to kind of finish things off and um, make it look a little bit more polished and then we add a few more like green areas and I did have to cut um, a lot of that out also I think you'll see me make this area and one more and then the big area and another little area I cut out because it was just uh, it was just a lot of time spent on, on that but um, yeah we're just adding in some more debug plants and trying to kind of match the surroundings and stuff like that and this is just basically pure decoration but I think it looks nice for a community lot it kind of looks like a community lot the way it's all um, so neat and everything and that fencing doesn't look like anything residential so um, this is that last little area that you'll see and um, it's one of the smaller ones and so we had two smaller ones and one large one and then the pool and that basically was the the landscaping for this build um, and I wanted it to look super neat and polished because the build is so like contemporary looking and neat and so I wanted it to have that look also and kind of have the straight lines and stuff like that so um, that is what we ended up with and you'll see that a little bit better later but we basically just added some more debug items and a fountain in the middle just to kind of top it off. And now we are moving on to the inside. So um, like I said, the bottom floor in this build is completely useless. Um, there's, I tried several different ways to kind of figure out how I could make some of it um, usable. And I think I could have, but it's it was just going to be painful. And to be honest, I think actually having this gem in your game would be painful. I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, but as far as like actually playing with it, because of the way the roofs even here because they did okay on this side this counted as an enclosed room and so you your sims can walk through there and and everything's normal but the roofs still stay in your line of sight if that makes sense and so it's still a bit frustrating and annoying and so i don't know um how well that this how well this gym would actually play but um, I tried to kind of work around that it was like I said it was a pain so the inside is not as full as it usually would be I did not spend a whole lot of time on that just because of how frustrating it was so now we're just adding in the bathrooms because this is a community lot so you do need some bathrooms and it's a gym so we have two showers two toilets and two sinks and the sinks are kind of like you know in a separate area but um, everything's functional I did play test this it's um, looks like a tight squeeze in there but it is functional and we're just adding in a little bit more decoration because I didn't have a lot of wall art that I felt like made sense so we're just adding in this I think that's an outdoor object from get together but I thought it looked nice in there anyway so we're just adding that in with some towels just to kind of make it look like it's decorated but I was so frustrated with the roofs at this point that I really just wanted to get it over with if that makes sense because as you can see they just they stay in your view the whole time and I didn't think that through but um, it does look nice from the outside so I guess it was worth it in the end and now we're just doing the main gym part so it's not huge this is all the gym equipment so it is rather small but um, yeah we're just adding in just the typical stuff treadmills and all the workout equipment and stuff like that and um, like I said it's all functional it has been play tested and then we are gonna go up to this top floor and originally I was gonna let this be kind of like a loft um, bedroom and on, on the very top floor I actually just deleted the flooring because I didn't want to um, try to figure out what to put there too <laughs> I was um, running out of ideals at this point but um so basically what we did with this area we, we just made like a locker room it's just like a maze of lockers and everything and originally i was going to have it be like a bedroom for a trainer or something like that but 
Um, it just didn't make sense and the roofs were so frustrating so I just wanted to give it a little bit of decoration and then move on from there. <laughs> And so we're just basically adding the last little bit of the wall art at this point, which is just mirrors. And then we should be going outside on this last little ledge. And this is the last part of the video. We're just adding in a few recreation items like gardening pots. We'll add a grill and an easel and stuff like that. But basically just community like items, you know, your Sims can enjoy while they're there. But that is basically this build. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments. And that's all. I hope you guys have an awesome day.